if when we were babies or young children and when we had a need, if we were met with aloneness, our internal system takes this as rejection and rejection turns into shame and shame leads into depression. This is really, really important to remember, guys. For somebody who deals with a lot of moments of feeling really low, really shut down, very isolated, the world doesn't feel safe to you. It could be because when you had needs, you were met with aloneness. No one came to meet the need. And that feels to the brain and body like rejection. And rejection creates the feeling of shame. So this happens when the parent shames a child for their emotion or leaves them alone in their emotion. Like if you're going to have a tantrum, go to your room. This is really, really unhealthy to do for your child. And if you're a parent, I want you, I want you to give yourself a little, cut yourself a little bit of slack because not a lot of us know that that's a bad thing to do. Sometimes we get overwhelmed by our children's needs or our children's tantrums, or if they're in a lot of their emotions are too strong for us to manage. And so we send them off to be alone, but that rejection, that aloneness, a child can't bear that emotion on their own. They need someone there to be with them in their, in their emotion and console them to bring them, bring them down that polyvagal ladder and calm themselves down and to know like, it's okay. You can have fear. You can have desire. You can have a need. You can have whatever. If we're shamed about it and we're left alone in our emotion, this creates a lot of aloneness now as adults. And, and remember it turns off the seeking system. It creates a space where now you're an adult and you don't want to, you're not going to ask for help. You're going to, or you're going to have predictions about the world that no one, when I ask for help, I just get rejected or I have to handle this on my own. No one is there to help me. I have to do it. The world isn't safe, whatever, whatever predictions that you now start making because you were left alone in your needs. Being alone in your emotions as a child creates the inability to learn to process your emotions in a healthy way. And then it creates more stuckness. Remember, we talked about being stuck energetically, emotions. It's not, there's no completion there and it creates that stuckness.